Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Link Up, the one show that keeps you on the loop with what is happening on our day-to-day -day lives, not only here in South Africa, but like worldwide. And of course, I am joined by my two beautiful ladies. Hey ladies! Hey, <laughs> oh, you guys look so pretty. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, so yeah guys, the topic yeah, today is about fantasy and also reality in relationships. The stuff that we see on the grams, the stuff that we see on the movies and in real life, uh, like the real relationships. So ladies, what's your take on that? Uh, my take on that is when it comes to fantasy relationships, I, I just don't understand why do we call it fantasy relationships, you get me? Because um, you cannot post your problems on Instagram. That's like mm -hmm. a fact. Everything has to be clean, good. I'm sure if you have to post your boyfriend, you won't like, post your arguments out there on Instagram. You know, it's none of anyone's business because you guys are partners. It's between you and your partner, you know? My thing is, why are we calling it a fantasy? Is it too good to be true? Well, fantasies are true. <laughs> to so isn't that too good to be true? Like real, also, isn't like s scenarios where like that good, too good to be true is real? Wait, like, yes, there's arguments to be true. There's something wrong. That's what we think. But you see, the story is saying it's fantasy because it can yeah. never be so perfect. And in this perfectly sang pipes, guys, where we watch <laughs> the instas and we're like, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, you know? And then yeah. suddenly we're depressed because we're just like, but no, but now our lives are not so perfect. Like yeah. we're lacking somewhere. And then you're looking at other people's lives and then you're like, but okay, it's popping. And I mean, with us ladies, we're so quick to plan. Also, like, why is it galopa? Why are you always like 15 steps ahead? Because the guys be chilling at step number one. And there we are. So this year with designers, we got like a whole wedding in our minds. It's guilty. <laughs> it's in our nature. It's in our nature. Why? I say it's in our nature. Think about when we have menstruation. Like it, like it just, it popped up at some point without you knowing. But now naturally your body has this thing of, you can feel that something is coming through. So you start buying and stuff. So women naturally okay. in our nature, we, we prepare. Yeah. We're always planning stuff all the time. But guys, don't you feel like the whole planning of Izinda and at that time you're not at the same level as your partner? Like as is not like disappointments. Because you guys are not on the same level. Why oh. we now upa fa fa fa? I mean expectations also the you ones know? that yeah. Um, you know, if you, if you enter and then you have these expectations, but then y'all's not on the same page, because obviously relationships will always have expectations. True. But I mean, there's there's that expectation which is just like, you, whoa, the same way how you know the fantasy relationships. Um, why is it always someone take the picture? Why is it that like we're posting them all the time? Like, what are we trying yeah. to portray? Is, is it that like we are so imperfect that we're trying to look good? Because it's nice when your relationship looks good. Yeah, true. But you know what? Um, most of the things that we never address at that banner, the, the kind of relationships that we see like on socials and whatever, like um, most of the time or like, like I'm not sure whether in DT most of the times or can you in DT banner, in some cases you find that the hands are being abused the entire time. Yeah. You know, they're being abused. They go through the most for them to be posting like la life or calf calf the entire time. Yeah. yeah because yeah. behind the scenes, they're being abused. Um, I mean, like it's a whole lot of things because they feel the people feel like bah, they bind them and whatever. All because of this fleshy life and whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, and then at the end of the day, it puts us under pressure. Now we're putting pressure on our partners. Like, hey, why aren't you taking me to Dubai? I also want to go to Dubai. <laughs> like, hey, now you see as if your partner is not doing much you know he's lacking in some ways now you end up going to a blesser because he can take you to dubai he can buy you sushi he can buy you um designer clothes you know and all of that but your boyfriend cannot do that only when you're in that relationship you see that hey it's not that good <laughs> is it <laughs> you not know? is it not because because of um like obviously it'll go back to the pressure of what social media and how yeah. people are portraying these relationships so, I mean, guys, I mean, with everything that we're getting, the fleshy lifestyle and whatever, yeah. and the blessings and don't and don't and don't. So, do you know that we actually, like, stay in relationship with that time? Men are cheating on us. Why? Is it because but we cannot now afford the lifestyle? That's why we sit and accept whatever. 
I think uh, cheating has now become a norm in, in society. It's something normalized that, okay, a man cheats, men do cheat. Um, the only thing you have to do is stay in that relationship, even though men cheat. I believe that all men cheat, honey. I've never met a man who don't cheat on me, and I am so guilty <laughs> of staying in those relationships. And the man is like cheating and cheating and cheating. And I'm like, uh-uh, honey, no girl is going to snatch my man away from me. Okay. Stay. You get what I'm saying? Mm. But that's stupidity. <laughs> but are you staying because you you want to stay or are you staying because you just like but now you don't want the admin of starting a new relationship or you're gonna lose this comfort lifestyle and you don't need that's, that's, that's to prove a point no girl's gonna take my man and also i'm in love you know there's no there's no fleshy lifestyle or anything but then it's to prove a point no man is no girl is gonna take my man you get what i'm saying okay. oh he wants he wants He's still with me, so which means like there's something. Exactly. That so I'm the main chick. At least I'm the main chick. Yeah, side chicks. Main, <laughs> main chicks and side chicks. Speaking of and cheating and being normalized, I feel like my, the main has always cheated. Like from our grandfathers. No, 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 no. Like most. Right. Like they've always cheated. Because you find that my, our grandfathers have like 20 kids, like different mothers and whatever. You Ooh. know, it, it has been happening the entire time, but it, it has always been that thing. But they never talk about it or whatever. Yeah. yeah but, so it's a family secret. And then our grandmothers would stay and whatever. Yeah. Because also I they're mean, proving points. But I I'm the main chick. And then he married <laughs> me and therefore, you know. So I yeah. mean, it, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Also, speaking of of cheating and all that do you think that you can actually like change a man into or change your partner not necessarily like a man change your partner into being like someone better someone who's not gonna cheat mm. and a cheater is a cheater like when men cheat because they want to cheat because genuinely if you love someone i don't think that you would have it in you to cheat yeah i mean there's there's a lot of women that are attractive there's a lot like you choose one, and then this woman passes, and she's got like a big ass, and she's like, "Whoa, you know?" Yeah. <laughs> like, but maybe you didn't, you didn't compliment in a way of saying like, "I want this woman oh, yeah. or Wait. anything." Can we not talk about only men cheating? Because us ladies, Ooh, we, we, we cheat. cheat. Yeah. We cheat. So we can't and say men alone. Like I saw, I saw it somewhere, and someone says, "But ladies cheat," and then you'd only find out when they want you to actually find it out. Yeah. yeah no, but, so you can't be saying that men cheat or whatever. So like, it's it's just like yeah. we relationships in general because also ladies they cheat so would you would you want to let me know but okay maybe what is it that makes ladies to cheat is it not enough because you'd find that but the lifestyle is perfect everything but they still people go out there to cheat and in their lanes <laughs> people are not staying in their lanes like i mean i mean i understand that like there are women that feel like you know what i would want to get married to a rich man or date yeah. a rich guy these these women who are hold, holding on to that mentality that this is this is what i want i'm not gonna date a broke guy and stuff yeah. but they themselves do not cannot even do that for themselves yeah so now if i'm dating a guy i genuinely fall in love but he can't do all these things for me and then i already have this mentality that i must date a rich man men must look after me next thing i'm cheating on my men because he's yeah. not doing you know men also cheat because they're not happy just as women cheat because they're not happy in their relationships but sometimes they stay you know sometimes even women try to change men which is i think it's just crazy to try and change a man to try change his beliefs to try and control him you know there's just that imbalance in a relationship that leads the other partner to cheat even though they love you but then they end up just cheating because of that you're trying to change them you're trying to control them and all of that it's it's just how about like trying to accept someone for who they are like people always like the whole changing someone thing like when you get in a relationship we all have expectations this is the kind of guy that i want and mm -hmm. stuff but then now you never accept this person for who they are true and then next thing you're cheating because you trying to change them and they're not becoming who you want them to be exactly and also when a man cheats girls man how do you guys okay. like spice up a relationship <laughs> Wait, do we spice it up because he cheated? <laughs> hey, guys, wait, do we spice it up? Like, are we spicing up? Because I think because you want him to stay. stay. So you're gonna go and buy like a he, hot lingerie, a red number. <laughs> spice it up before he cheats. When you see him slipping away, honey, the best thing it's you can late. do is spice up that relationship. Bring him back home. Buy them lunch, raise but massage. But you know what? I think the yeah. issue here is that when we get into relationships, we get comfortable. Yeah, the yeah. stuff that we used to do when the relationship was still fresh or when the guy was still like 
coercing you and whatever. Yeah. As soon as we're like, well, oh, okay, now we're snatched and then we relax. And yeah. Then, yeah, but we, we're still we're combing just, your hair. You just yeah, about, everything. Now it's missionary. You don't dress up. You don't dress up and stuff right, like that, you know, you know but like, it, it's hectic, guys. So, I mean, for someone who'd want to be in a relationship, like a single, somebody out there who'd want to be in a relationship, like, what advice would you give them to be like in a, like, not like perfect, but like a healthy relationship, you know, um, not to live in like a fantasy world, but like to understand the reality, to understand that the stuff that we see on Instagram, the stuff yeah. that we see on YouTube, you know, most couples in Google's then are YouTube videos and whatever, like, yeah. it's hectic, yes. guys. It's <laughs> Like actually talking so about what would you actually say to someone who's like, okay, I'm gonna give this whole relationship thing a chance mm -hmm. and see how like what would you say to that person? Uh, honestly, okay, you can go. <laughs> Thanks. I think like I mean we did talk about acceptance, but if you accept someone for who they are, I think that's like the basic thing and just be so transparent and truthful about like what you want in this relationship. In this relationship because you enter with expectations, not knowing that y'all are not on the same page. True, true. So, anyways, uh, thank you so much, ladies. I think it's high time that we close it. So, in conclusion, get guys, go to uh, you need to accept the person for who they really are, right? Don't try to change the person and also don't come into a relationship with high expectations okay so again unfortunately we need to wrap it up for now um we'll see each other some other time do not forget to follow us on the socials and do not forget to subscribe on our channel all day tv until next time let's say bye ladies bye, bye.